and we are here with chapter four of our let's play of Fatal Frame 2 Undubbed. We just uh, got through a pretty quick, quick chapter three, got to, this third, to the second floor of the Kurosawa house, and we are being chased by the Kusabi, this giant ghost demon dude. And we saw a lady laughing at Kimono who looks curiously like our sister. And who and our sister, by the way, who seems to chase after weird voices calling to her, so I don't know, maybe she's like Joan of Arc or some shit. But let's uh let's just continue on here now that because it was such a quick chapter. Butterfly Diary One. There was an old diary near the place where Mayu was lying. Munakata and his teacher came to the village today. He said he wanted he was worried about Itsuki and came to help. But I can't tell outsiders about the village. Itsuki's locked up in the storehouse. So remember we saw the white haired boy locked up in that storehouse earlier. I doubt he'll be allowed to talk with an outsider. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Makabe made a picture of us with his picture box. My face looked strange, but it was interesting to see. He's probably going to be... Asterisk, asterisk. Because our cleansing isn't finished yet. Before that happens, we have to help him escape. If I can become one with you, Yae, I'll be happy. That's the only thing that matters to me, Sai. So yeah, warped twins. So yeah, Sae here is kind of... Fucked up. Yeah, it seems more normal. Although Sai did want to have the that guy escape, so she was kind of familiar with the smell. Anything over here? Yeah, but that Sai, the warp face, was kind of um sympathetic to the the guy who came to visit. Something shows in the photo. Looks like the same doll. This game always has these doll puzzles and freaky dolls. Dolls are missing their heads. Pretty sure we can't do anything more with this right now, but... Sounds to me like a doll puzzle. Okay. Now to try to get the hell out of here. Dresser over here. Oh fuck. Hello. Hello. Oh, I hate that sound. Dear. Hello. That thing on the floor is definitely not... Hello? Hi? Hey? Um... That thing's definitely gonna attack. Oh, hi! Hello there. She can, of course, go after her sister now. Instead of us. Oh, hi, hey, hi, hey. Wait, did I miss that? I did miss that. Shit. Fuck. Oh boy. Oh, fatal frame. Oh, oh. Not quite down yet. Where the hell did she go? Not too pretty far back. Oh, hi. Oh, you're behind us. Oh, hi there. Oh, so freaky. So fucking freaky, that thing. And doesn't help that there's like that creaking sound as well. I hate this kind of ghost. Wind doll heads. They're old, but beautifully decorated. Probably the heads for the dolls in the other room. Yeah, every Fatal Frame game has to have creepy dolls. Actually, probably every every Japanese-based, like, um... horror game used to insert the twin doll heads. Okay, of course we have a fucking doll puzzle. Oh, there's a timer, I forgot about that.
Um, um, let's see here. Can we get both of them here in time? Um, wait a minute. Oh, wait, I think I may have fucked this. Wait, no. Oh, if I have enough time, then I might be okay. Wait, ah, uh, leave. Yeah. I didn't realize it was timed. But I have an idea of two chosen to go to heaven. Alright. Oops. Oh, goddammit. Yes. Okay, so... as well. Damn it, I think I... Damn it. Yeah, I want to leave it. So, yeah, somehow I fixed... Okay, really do not have a lot of time here. Uh, the time the timed aspect of this is is a pain ah god damn it man this this is brutal and also you, the fact that you have to like there's no like quick reset like fatal frame one's puzzles at a quick reset but yeah I have to get both of them on top Start by going with this one over here. Um, that's not helping us. Alright, we're not gonna have enough time. And ah, this puzzle sucks! And come to think of it, like, most of the puzzles in Fatal Frame 2 are not nearly as annoying as the puzzles in Fatal, Fatal Frame 1, I don't think. what we want to do here. Right? Maybe not. Wait, we'll see. Oh, pro fucking gamer, man. Pro gamer. Unlocked. Which butterfly key? Where was this key again? I don't remember. Yeah, where where was the butterfly key? Oh, I think maybe it was like the entrance to the to the mansion. That's yeah, that's probably right. We're back this way. That's right. Which, is, I'm pretty sure you could go all the way back to the entrance, probably, and then be like, oh shit, I don't have this key. I better fucking, like, get this key. 
but luckily it is kind of obvious that it's right here. Some of the items do respawn, I think, in between chapters, but I think they're specifically all glowing ones. We saw a house map. Nice. Folklore 6. The twin girls of the house gave me a map that shows a side door. They said that the hidden ceremony is near and that I should escape out the side door during the night. They left so quickly I couldn't even ask them about it. The other people in the house are acting normally. Was there some ulterior motive behind the generous hospitality? Just to be safe, I will tell Munakata to come home ahead of me. So there's a hidden ceremony, and that guy was told to escape. Oh, hi! Whoa! Shit! Holy fuck! That was... freaky. Nothing in here. Alright. So, we're probably... We probably have a lot of the... We haven't upgraded our camera in a while, actually. Um, we probably have a lot of the other types of films, too, right? Oh, never mind. We're, like, super low on that kind. Um, we do have a lot of points, though. Like, I do have C equipped, which lets the them stay visible for longer. Tracking can be kind of tracked some automatically. I don't know if that's useful or not. Blast and zero. I think blast was the one I was using before I got the zero lens. Maybe we power up C. And yeah, so you have to put in an orb and then put in points, which kind of makes me wonder what the point is, really. Of having two separate ways to things to do with. Okay. We have 12 spirit orbs, so I'm not sure I could upgrade everything. At least the things I'm using. Oh, hi! Oh, hey! Oh, buddy, talking man. Oh, holy shit. Us. We're still stuck fast. Dude. Alright, they did mention a side door earlier, so that's something to keep in mind. Alright, blessed save point. Now once you get into these indoor areas, it can be definitely longer before you get to a save point. Of course we have our sister back to block the path for us. Oh, hi! Hey, calling man. Oh, oh, buddy. Dude. Yeah, so. I think, considering these two are twins, there's something around here. Is it up high? No? Oh, wait, I saw it for a second. Just a random spot in the air. Garden woman. I wonder if you can walk in the garden in the Wii version. The Wii remake. Can't pick that up. Ooh. There was a thing. Evade additional function. So yeah, right when they attack you, you can press the X button and it'll, like, knock them back. Alright. Are they still going to be attacking us at this point, is the question. Oh. Hey, 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 pal. It's all bloody. Uh, hello?
so let's get... Oh, that camera angle is freaky. Pretty sure this room was not so bloody last time we were here. That's for sure. What is this chapter 4, right? Yeah. At least we're not being tra chased by the Kasabi anymore. Like, that was kind of freaky. Why would you be killing somebody? Anything in here? No. There's like a really long quest line you know, that has to do with Masumi and Miyako. That has to do with that room, but I don't know all the steps and I'm not I'm trying to avoid game facts. Like, uh, as much as possible. Like, this is from the area where everybody kind of need. Oh, hi! Oh, shit. Hey. Something here is not great. Hello. Oh, I hate these things. Where is this? The type of teleports? Oh, shit. Ow, 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 ow. Missed my chance. Just shoot. I did like no damage. How about that? I did a little bit more damage, but... I did a lot more damage. I never tell if the second hit actually does much. And these things take a lot of damage. Also, I don't know when to get, like, go for a fatal frame on them, right? Because, like, it feels like I only have the chance for the zero shot here, and then that's about it. Oh, hey, there's an item. Spirit Orb. Yeah, so Mio, the character you play as most of the time, feels guilty about her younger sister's, um, like, injury, where, like, due to her own Mio's negligence, her uh, her sister hurt her leg, and also, like you can't wander too far from her sister when this when you, she's following you. So it's kind of better when she wanders off, actually. Although it doesn't, you don't notice it so much inside. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Anything in here? At least you don't you don't get lost as much in this game compared to Fatal Frame One and Three. I feel like, like I don't feel like I'm checking the map every three seconds the way that I am in those other games. Hey, nice. We got some film. All right, so yeah, this must have been the door that we need that for. We can't escape, can we? Oh, hi. Whoops. I don't think I got that. Legs. Or I did, maybe. But it didn't tell me I did. Oh, no, the audio is, like, kind of fucked up. Whoops. It's 
something's around here. Apologize for the emulation issue here. Looking down. Oh, there we go. That's where we were trying to see if we can escape. Let's find out. That one's hampered. Oh, hi. Why do you run? Did you get him? I don't think we got him. That guy seems important. Damn, I definitely didn't get that guy the first playthrough, so. Well. Alright. Butterfly key. What have we got in here? That's not item for a second up there. Lock. Sacred water refills your health to full generally. Yep, there's an item up there. Purple medicine. Oh, hi. Child at door. No idea what the kid was saying. So, let's look at the map real quick. Like, we could go upstairs, or we could go down all that whole path over there. I guess let's start by going upstairs. Ceremony Masters Note 3. When the twins were born, I was miserable knowing that they were doomed. They were raised freely without pain or sadness. They saw they say the pain of the asterisk never stops. The elder sister must kill the younger in the crimson sacrifice ritual. It's a cruel, horrible fate. So basically, if these two twins did, like your like um Mayu here would, would have to kill you. Something's reflecting light. We are full on type fourteen film. God, are you Can we get... God, are you? God, are you? Weird. Something caught in a spider web. Probably not important. Oh, hi. Over here. Speaking child. God, are you? Oh yeah, I appreciate everybody checking out the stream, everybody checking out the VODs and everything. We do have our full playthrough of Fatal Frame 1 uh, undubbed and also the full hard mode playthrough of Fatal Frame 5. Some ringtone. Shrine maids of the past and future made into crimson butterflies return from the blank as guardians of the village. Those that become butterflies ascend to heaven, parting the skies above, inviting the light upon us. Everybody's dead. Tapu Tome. Mina Shinjata. Wow, everybody died. It's our fault, she said. The gate to the hell is called the blank. Gaze not upon the blank. Eyes that glimpse the blank will be blinded by the blank. Speed knock of the blank. The mouth which utters blank will be made speechless by the blank. Listen not to the blank. Those who hear the asterisk are turned heartless by the blank. Okay, so the thing that you cannot talk about. Twin Tome. In the Crimson Sacrifice ritual, the shrine maidens become one again. They become a deity and appeases the, the blank. The latter stays here watching over the human world, the first shall pass through the blank, calming the earth. It's an item on the floor as well. Disaster Tome. If the ritual is not performed, the blank will open. Inhuman wretches shall burst forth from the blank, villagers will be engulfed by the blank, and the sky will be plunged into darkness. Darkness will spread over the land for generations, awaking the blank. We must think of this disaster as a repentance for our failure to fulfill our duty to the blank, which grants us a life. We must accept that this is the reason for our existence. I think I, I've... My first, like a first time... Tome. 
If the blank rumbles on a year without the ceremony, a kusabi is needed. A kusabi is an outsider made into a Buddha and offered to the blank, or they suffer the greater the calming of the blank. So we saw that those ropes earlier, and we heard, uh, like, saying that that uh, Makabe, the folklorist, might get fucked up, so I think they are referring to that. Ceremony Master's Note 2. An outsider visited with perfect timing. I'll use him for the hidden ceremony and pacify the blank. I must assure he doesn't escape from that. So basically, if like they can't get their, their special twin ritual working, then they use the Kusabi... Ew, feet from other way. They use the Kusabi to um, hold back the, the evil for a moment. Is this the door we came from? Wait. Oh, actually. Remove the uh, thing blocking the door. Nice. This was the path to the uh, save point from earlier. Yeah, the one nice thing about having all these save points is like, like Fatal Frame 5, and I believe 4 as well, has like a, uh, like those games have mission structures, and it feels really weird for me to stop playing partway through a mission. But then, like the original trilogy on the PS2 has these save points, so even mid-level, not really a big problem. Can you move out of the way, please? Thank you. Not really a big problem to, uh, to just kind of leave partway through. Got this big fixture thing in the center of the room. All right. So yeah, we have that item there. How do we get this? Ball came down. Old ball is on the floor. Crimson ball it seems to have fell in the, the hole in the ceiling. So I wonder if we're able to uh, get whatever that is now. A creepy. Like it doesn't have like the regal splendor of the Hemero Mansion from Fatal Frame One, but it, it has its own charm. Drop the ball on it. Yeah. Nice. Nice little puzzle. It's like a Zelda-ish puzzle, I feel like. Right? Apologize for hitting the microphone accidentally. Alright, so what did that drop? Diamond Link Key. How do we use that? I have not seen that yet, but... Let's see. Alright, through this door that the kid beckoned us through earlier. Oh, something on the floor, type 14 film. Yeah, we're... Oh, I think I missed that. Mateo, wait! Wait for me! Alright, there's a door here. And a passageway. It's stuck fast, okay. Oh, hi! I bet we're going to have to fight little kids at some point, you know? It's not a Fatal Frame game without a battle with little kids. Alright. You gotta have to have your little kid fight, your little doll fight. The, the end boss. Oh, hi! Her house checker. Alright, so... seem to be going this direction. Hi. Why am I trapped here? Captive man. Can you tell me why you're trapped? Could it be? Folklore state. Long ago, a visitor to a mountain village became a ceremonial sacrifice. When the veiled priests captured me, they said things like outsider and kusabi, which of course means door wedge, like to hold the door shut. 
What exactly is the nature of a hidden ceremony? The key the twin girls gave me must be for the side door of the house. The key for the cell must be in another house. According to the map, the key is hidden in a cave under the Osaka house. Maybe this is the cellar in the passageway that I read about. So apparently there's a key in a cave under the Osaka house. Which was the um the house we were in earlier. So basically, somebody from outside the village comes in and they get turned into the Kusabi to temporarily hold the gate of hell shut. They've uh, basically saying, can we go in whatever this is? It's locked, okay. Two padlocks, light and shadow. Where's the exit here? Whenever you run into your sister, the control rumbles out like, oh shit, what's going on? Yeah, we need more film. Bad smell. If anybody has any advice for me, I appreciate because like I still don't know all of the recommended. Oh, hi. Oh shit. Being shadow. Yeah, come along, my. my... All right, she's coming. Ground. Definitely nothing go, can go wrong down here, right? Oh boy. There's a well. They said bad shit about wells earlier. The square mouth of the old well gapes open. It's too dark to see the bottom. Yeah, I bet I bet it's too dark to see the bottom. Oh, hello? Oh dear. Is there something coming out of the well? I bet there is. Oh, no, it's over there. Oh, and there's a uh, projectile flying around. Oh, shit, he got me caught behind a, uh, a pillar or so. Behind, oh, sir, 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 whoa! He just hit you like that. That didn't do that much damage, even though I wasted my power-up shot. Alright, the normal shot where I timed it properly did better. Are you going to teleport or are you going to move quickly? I'm caught on wall here. Yeah, so this is separate from an actual fatal frame and I'm not very good at getting them in this game. There is the special zero shot. Okay. Dick. Every fiddle frame game, the uh, priests are like the worst. I mean, not always the worst enemy, but they're pretty bad. Item. Spirit orb for upgrades. been kind of alluding to Wells being freaky, so I'm kind of scared about that. Hey, save point! Oof. Excellent. Yeah, they, they do love to scatter their save points around. This isn't the way we came, right? Oh. Hammer design. Old wind. Oh, so this is the door out of here. Think we can leave through here? Well, that's what they imply. I don't like this well. The well gives me the creeps. I really don't like our sister, like, talk, calling us a different name. You know, we are Mio and Mayu, which, like, once again, I'm pretty sure I've met plenty of Japanese twins that had, like, names just as similar. Like, they're all, they're all about, you know, dressing in the same clothes, having similar names. 
like trying to erase the individual personalities. Alright, hammerlock. Alright, well there was another door like that we passed. Come on, get it. Get Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, sister, sister. Okay, here we go. I mean, I guess it makes sense that you have collision with your sister here, but mildly annoying. Right, what about this door now? Sometimes you just have to hit like a certain. Oh, hi! Come to sacrifice Yai. So basically, Sai, who I believe was the older one, was supposed to kill Yai, the younger one, as the sacrifice. Doors open. Well, this room seems cool. Oh boy. Now, the Shrine of the Ephemeral has a room like this in Fiddle from 5, so clearly I think that inspired, that it was inspired by this room. Hello, sir, sir, sir. I think he teleported. Yes, he did. Into a wall, probably. Where the hell did he go? Yeah, these priests are like really bad if they're on a wall or they uh... Actually no, we need to get... Wait, where are you? Oh here! Oh shit, I think I missed it. Nope! I think that was okay. Just barely. Yeah, our sister is kind of in the way. There's like a pillar that's kind of half blocking the shot on him right now. Really get good at aim aiming shots here. Ah! He disappeared again. Oh hi! Oh hi! I think that might get rid of the projectile. Ow! Shit! I guess not! For you. Hi, sir. There's a powered zero shot, so that's pretty good. Oh, we got him. The combo shot. Thank God. So he actually kind of goes after your sister sometimes, so that... Makes it easier for him. Destiny. Ceremony Master's Note 1. The malice coming from the blank is getting stronger, which I believe they mentioned the malice in Fatal Frame 1 as well. Um, like every over Japan, basically in this series, there's like, like the malice leaking out of the hell gates. I've searched and there is no record of it getting this strong in the past. Recently, poor harvests and deaths have begun to increase. The time of repentance for Tachibana's failure to perform the ritual is drawing near. Half of the mourners were driven mad by the malice and jumped into the blank. We must prepare more mourners. We'll use the sinners. If we don't do something, the blank will overflow in a few years. I must use my daughters in the ritual. Sai and Yai must be cleansed. For the village! Let me see an item over here. Yeah. Something on the floor. Herbal medicine. Can never have too much that. I feel like there's something over on the right, too. Ceremonies master, Ceremony Master's Note 4. Sai and Yai ran away with that boy, a remaining. Ukasabi calmed the blank a little, but it is still rumbling, so they sacrificed Makabe to hold back the, uh, the Hellgate for a little bit. If the twins aren't brought back, the village will be swallowed by the blank. They are my daughters. I must find them. Man, sacrificing his own daughters. This is a really cool, elaborate room. Like, I can see why they kind of reuse the design a bit for Fatal Frame 5, of course. There's a staircase over there. Going down, there's also a staircase up here. Oh, an item. A couple of items, actually. 
camera equipment and film. C1 basically makes it easier to see them, which is really helpful in Fail Frame 1. I haven't really needed it in Fail Frame 2. Butterfly Diary 3. The time of the ritual is coming soon. Itsuki and Mutsuki's ritual didn't work, and this year is our turn. I'm leaving the vi the village with you. Itsuki will help us escape, and we'll be together forever like I promised. Yeah, I... The truth is, I don't want to run. But as long as I can be with you, I'll follow you anywhere. Just don't leave me here alone. I want to be more than identical twin sisters. I want to be... Crimson Butterflies together. Oh. Oh, there's a... Uh... The uh, door seems to be locked. Got a bit of a puzzle going here. Oh, hey. You know, I think it will open if you step on it, actually. Just stay there. Yeah. Probably the, the only time in the entire fucking game where my is useful for something. Aside from distracting the enemies. Butterfly Diary 2. I was wrong. It's just like Itsuki said. Munakata's teacher is going to be a blank. This has to stop. People like Mutsuki shouldn't have to die. I have to do something. A veiled priest took one of the cell keys to the rope temple. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I really was like, kind of want, was getting tired of the shit. It seems father plans to make that man a blank. Even though he's Munakata's teacher, I know one cell key is hidden in father's bookshelves. To keep the blank appeased, there's only one thing to do. If we perform the crimson sacrifice, perhaps people won't suffer like this. So at the time, at least, Sai wanted to sacrifice her sister to save everybody else. But yeah, I just want to peace out. And oh, try to make the wasabi. I, think I missed it. I think it's. I'll hold on to this key. You heard something fall on the other side of the lattice. So there's a key over there. Don't leave me alone again. God. I feel like I was this kid's parents. I would send them to like separate schools. Alright, we could backtrack because we did, we did see there's a key up there. And maybe, whoa, there's a item here. Glowing red crystal. This is probably from the priest, actually. Let's listen. Glowing red crystal. So yeah, the ritual failed. Seems like Yai ran off, so they only had one twin. Do we go down here is the question. We go get, get that key over there. Something on the floor, sacred water. Do we... Yeah, let's go get that item real quick. It did kind of like signpost that we should go that way, I think. But yeah, we have finished our entire Let's Play of Fatal Frame 1 undubbed, and then we have our ERs into our Fatal Frame 2 um, undubbed Let's Play now. Of course, it's also like a stream, of course, and then VODs on YouTube, so we're doing it live. It's 
somebody's near. Well, that's kind of freaky. Monsters are horns are calling a fuss. Oh hi! Oh no 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 no! Oh dear! Hi! Ow! Alright, that was a good hit, that was a good hit. Yeah, luckily they deal with, like, the tighter rooms a little bit than Pale Frame 1. And then these guys are can be easy if, like, they get into this, like, this particular pattern. But, they could also get into a bad pattern. Alright, got rid of that guy, thank god. But yeah, evil demon priests are also kind of a feature of this series as well. You can also aim at our sister. A demonic looking statue, something shining the light, spirit orb. So, we heard something fall in this room earlier. Hello? Isn't there supposed to be something going on? Buddha statue holds a tiny key. Engrave the crimson butterfly to seal up. If there's no sacrifice, repent with the kasabi. Put the books on the bookshelves. Okay. Puzzle time, folks. Um, the read text. Engrave the crimson butterfly to seal up blank. If there is no sacrifice, repent with the kasabi. So, there we got one, two, three, four, five sections of a red text. So, the first part is a um about a crimson butterfly crimson wing wait actually return true shelf crimson wing tome all right so this one's about butterflies so that sounds right all right now seal up okay there is one that's like i think that is like Fucked up. No, not this one. There's one that, like... Taboo Tome? Yeah, this is probably the Taboo Tome. Alright, and then we have... Sacrifice, and then Repent with the Kasabi. Which... Is it Twin Tome? Alright, this is probably this is a sacrifice, so twin tome. Repent with a kusami, so we need repentance. Um repentance. Alright, that's this is the one. Disaster tome. And then it should be This is what about Kusabi. Yep. Man. First Pro gamer. Pro gamer first first try. I got mixed up my first time. I key he fell. Light key. So we need the shadow key earlier. You? Never mind. It was like to get into that the cell we need the light and the shadow key. We just got the light key. Except for I don't think this is Well here's the save point, so might as well. While we're here. But yeah, this is the game I hear people compare to Silent Hill in terms of quality and uh, how how scary it is and everything. Like, they really got their shit down, I feel like, for this game, of course. And, uh... Like, I feel like a lot of people recommend Fatal Frame 2. Like, this was legit... One of, like, I mean, horror was kind of... I think they had a bigger share of the market for console games back when this game was new. And, uh... This like was like actually like a like I had a friend who played this game, and I saw this game in particular played at his house, and like so, like Fatal Frame has become this super niche horror thing, mostly for Japanophiles like myself, who also like horror. Where's the other the door? But uh, yeah, back in the day, it was way more mainstream. I feel like, relatively speaking. Of course, games were like more niche back then too. 
Whoops. Did I go the... Did I do this again? I did it again. Whoops. Alright, so remember that. Wait. Is this the right door? This is the right door. Cool. I also really appreciate that this game doesn't have the random... Oh! Right as I say, no fewer random ghosts, we have what I believe is a random ghost. Well, I mean, they're not... This one's not too hard. So... He really has, like, that kind of, like, villager... I get this guy mixed up with the with like the ghost that like crouches down a lot. Like this one just comes straight at you. But yeah, Fatal Frame One has like way more random ghosts that you really have to be careful about. Like that's where a lot of the difficulty comes in, where a lot of your ammo goes in is like if you go off the beaten trail, you have to deal with these really hard ghosts. Whereas uh, like I guess. What was it the Zero Brightness podcast, which is a podcast about horror video games, which is super awesome, highly recommended. They say how Fatal Frame 1, basically, it's like, they have a horror game where they kind of, like, erased every easy enemy from the game, and they went straight to, like, the end game like enemies. So last time we went that way, let's go over here real quick. Partition screen. This. Creepy little hallway here. Even this hallway is like less cramped and, uh, um, claustrophobic compared to like hallways in Fatal Frame 1 and 5. 5 has like some really narrow corridors as well. Alright. Let's check there's nothing back this way. And a lot of the sound design is stuff... Well, I mean like, some people prefer the sounds of uh... That's right, I forgot. If we leave our sister too far behind, she kind of is like, why? But it's not as big of an issue in, uh, inside. Yeah, okay, we're good. CT. But yeah, a lot of the sound effects and, and things kind of recur through the series, and a bunch of them come from this game. Like, the Fatal Frame sound from this game. And, uh, that, like, you know, the way that you mash on the button for, uh, a Fatal Frame comes out of this game. All right, two paths and a big tower. Felt to sink down a little. I wonder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Unlock the door. Oh, holy shit. Ah. Hey, waiting for hey buddy.
We go, wait, there's an item here. Shadow key. Alright, that's something we needed. Can we go through here? We can go through here, interesting. What do we got going on in this room? Yo, look. Wait, where is this item? Ceremony Master's Note 5. An old book is in front of the altar. Yaya is really is not coming back. Did she really leave Sai behind? Did she survive in the forest? If Sai is cleansed and acts as Shrine Maiden alone, the blank might be appeased. The records do not mention any rituals with a single Shrine Maiden, but I will do it. I have to try. Yaya, why did you run? Why won't you come back? Okay. So this room seems pretty important. Is this the way we came? Nope. Hold up. Everybody's calling me. Boy. Yeah, I think our sister is kind of um going a bit off the deep end here. Of course, we already kind of knew that. But back to that uh, jail cell. Yeah, I appreciate everybody checking out the stream, and later, of course, everybody checks out the YouTube. The uh, if you had, like wanted knowing more, more stuff about the uh, the game, with the series of games, Fire Away, because you know I've really looked into a lot of it, and then of course, like I've watched a lot of the videos that uh, Tara Devlin's Koalbana channel has put out out about this game, and she also puts out about other. Or Japanese horror games like uh, Kulan and such. But there's not a lot of J horror games, unfortunately. Like if you love Dingu, if you love Juon, if you love um, Kaido, if you love Rinne, all these classic horror, Japanese horror movies. There's not so many games to uh, really go with that. Hi, hey, buddy. Hey, hey use a full powered up zero shot. I don't trust that this guy's dead or that this is the only guy, so well, apparently it was. All right, cool. Yeah, the most basic enemy in the game. But yeah, Fatal Frame 1 would have had like this really hard broken neck lady there. Was why you why you keep on talking like you are one of those freaky twins who are already dead? Lock the cell. We'll just go imprison ourselves into the cell. Down, down, remember them? Type 90 film, nice. Row of Buddhist statues. Writing paper. Japanese girl doll looking this way. That's creepy. Missed it. No! And plus, since I was trying to do that, I didn't even see, like, read the text. Of course, 9. As expected, the, da the jailer won't tell me anything, won't even say a word. By the way, let me cut in. They do not, like, you may have noticed, like, they didn't give these to us in order. Like, we'll see the first one, we'll see, like, the last one, we'll, they're out of order. So it's kind of like Juon, where you don't see the story through, uh, in chronological order, through the notes. It's a total reversal of the treatment I got when I came to the village. I guess this was the real reason I was invited to the village. The cell is also used to store documents. I was able to find several important manuscripts. I can continue my research, but I doubt anyone will ever see it. Hellish Abyss. It is unclear how long this hole that connects our world to the underworld has existed. They say that if the cover to it is opened, it will cause a terrible disaster. This is the origin of the Gate to Hell folktale. 
as a taboo word, it is often represented in other texts as an asterisk. The suffering of the sacrifice is used to seal the hellish abyss. The mourners. God, I hate these mourners. They are the guardians of the hellish abyss and are the only ones that can get near it. When the year of the ceremony comes, the mourners he sew their eyes shut so they cannot glimpse the hellish abyss. Criminals and anyone that has seen the hellish abyss are also forced to become mourners. Afterwards, they live underground or never return to the surface. What could be so bad that looking at it is forbidden? Alright, so, folklore is 10. Twin Shrine Maidens. Get a bit of a lore dump here. Twin Shrine Maidens are sacrificed in the Crimson Sacrifice Ritual. Boys are sometimes used as well. In this case, they are called Ultra Twins. The people of this region believe that the twins were once a single being which was split into two at birth. This region, I feel like a lot of Japanese people feel like they, they believe that in general. The ceremony is based on the belief that when the two bodies are reunited as one, the Shrine Maiden will gain the power of a deity. The text say, says, The older sister must blank the younger and throw her into the blank. The blank part must refer to the most horrible part of the ritual, probably some sort of sacrifice. You think? The wooden key, hammer key. Nice. Almost like a house map. So yeah, that's right. In there was some other key that they mentioned in that house that we had been in earlier. Okay. Come on. Eh. Oh, shit. Do not want to get out of here. Sister's losing it. was kind of not great right there. Chapter 5. The Sacrifice. Almost like a house map. The key should be around here somewhere. This is definitely the location of the key according to the map. Looks like a house. We should be there. But, in any case... That's the uh, that's the end of chapter four. Like, I think that was a little shorter than chapter three. Like, uh, and two. Like, um, kind of halfway. They it seems like they split up the uh, the inter part. But yeah, we got a bunch of keys and we saw that really cool altar room with the priest. That reminds me of Fatal Frame. Well, I guess they based the one room in Fatal Frame Five off of this, so it was super cool. And we're we're getting into we're getting so many lore dumps that are going great. Right, right. So, anyway, that's the end of of uh, 
chapter 4, so uh, we'll continue with chapter 5 next time.